Hi and uh, welcome to this lesson where we will be uh, creating a hybrid mesh or you will learn how to merge uh, meshes at interface and convert the type of mesh from structured to unstructured or from triangles to chords. So basically here we have curves or the it can be an airfoil or it can be basically the body of interest and we got a fluid zone which is the inner fluid zone and this is our interface one let's go ahead and save it as hybrid one okay so what I'm going to do is use um, first I'm going to measure the distance of this so the distance is 13 so maximum element can be something like 1 and uh, uh, I'm going to create a blocking here called fluid oh, sorry it will be in the part fluid inner I've already created a surface called fluid inner with 2d planner and quick apply and just what we usually do associate the edges to the curves and project them okay um, yeah. and do spline and then just do one O grid click apply and associate these in our square to this okay and then delete this block that should do now I'm going to put 12 everywhere so I'm going to copy parameters to selected edges and select all the edges and click apply and let's save a pre-mesh so this is my mesh now I'm going to convert it into unstructured and save the project now I'm going to save this project as a new project called hybrid 2 and file mesh I'm going to close the mesh now and pre-mesh off and then I'm going to delete everything except for interface 1 okay and then blocking close blocking as well what is this um, this as well basically delete fluid enough delete all geometry and fluid. okay so we have interface one now I'm going to rename it as interface two and go to transform geometry scale this another five times from the centroid and this is what we get and I'm going to create a new part called far field okay so far field click apply and this is my far field also what I'm going to do is create part called outlet and just do two points here um, I did an extra point gonna delete that and segment the curve by these two points and merge these curves so this part is my outlet let's change the color because okay so I've got far field outlet and interface 2 which I'll change to another color as well okay now this time we're going to create again another surface called fluid outer and create from curves so this this and 
Okay, that didn't go very well. So what I'm going to do is create from two to four curves. Try that. Okay, and uh, I can block this again. Fluid outer. Create the block in part fluid outer. Apply. Don't worry about the surface. Um, that's going inside because when we block and delete it will be okay so associate these edges to sorry associate this this and this to this this to this let's turn off the surface and point to this to this and use line to get the correct uh, hold on a second oh yeah so now we need to create an O grid inside select blocks and click apply okay then we are going to use associate these to this and then we're going to where is it or oh, spline okay and we're going to use 12 everywhere just for demonstration purposes to all these edges and pre-mesh uh, I forgot to do this block. Okay, so now we've got fluid outer. Convert on structured mesh. Forget the surface and save the project. Now we're going to create save this project there. Hybrid merged. Okay, and we're going to open the geometry of hybrid one choose merge and open the mesh of hybrid one choose merge there we go that's our mesh now we can export this save this project export it as um, hybrid merge to D fluent merge check done let's check influent file read mesh and go to C depends where you saved it I think I have it in here okay it works fine um, I can even try and simulate something just to show you uh talk i'll come back when it's not stuck okay so i fixed it uh it was just my computer loading too much overloaded i guess so we're going to do a steady state energy equation on since we're using power field K Omega SST Okay um, Materials Materials Air Ideal gas Blah blah Close Boundary conditions For field It's a pressure for field Channel point One Give her one and um, and the uh, interior interior two fluid zones interface one is already recognized as interface outlet is an outlet vent like flow intensity 
is around one and reference values from far field uh, not really bothered about this part pollution controls maybe lower a bit 0.5 and 0.8 and 0.1 sorry 0.91 and monitors create lift on curves okay let's just see if this works now initialize hold on a second okay so i forgot to create mesh interface which i have done just now so you just go here and select interface 2 to interface 1 and give it a name say it's a matching wall and that's it and initialize the solution and run calculation Ooh, there you go and you just change this to unsteady and and check if it works for unsteady as well okay so time step size something reasonable maybe 12 time steps and three four iterations per time step not bad not bad and uh, we can check the graphics and the results field velocity display and and we have reasonable results actually you might have to refine this area to capture it more accurately but with this option on you could also create dynamic meshing options um, where you can use um, rigid body mesh motion or deforming and but the thing is you have to write uh, UDF profile to, in order to do this you can select the inner zone okay so um, now let's try and change the mesh type so we have a mesh here and it's all quotes if we did want to change it to another mesh type let's say this to the outer part we change to triangles that's possible too and if you wanted to refine it you can refine selected region let's say I want to refine this closer to the world region pure refinement and let's see if this works in fluent now apply save open 2d and we will replace the old file which has uncovered edges okay so basically uh, you will need to reopen the mesh and merge it again so we'll do it uh, you can give it a try um, but if you did not have the interface uh, this solution will work for you well, thanks.